Toxoplasmosis is a single-celled organism that you might have heard called the cat poop parasite. It's a little tiny microscopic being that cats spread, and cats of all kinds, not just house cats, but lions and tigers and jaguars, spread this organism and it breeds in their, um, their intestines, essentially. All different kinds of mammals can get it, including humans. Once you get it, you uh, have it forever. Basically, you get the parasite from either having direct contact with cat feces or by eating another kind of mammal, another secondary host. It can cause uh, birth defects and blindness and uh, neurological problems, um, but it's only recently that people have sort of started wondering about the effects that it can have on adult people. There's kind of increasing awareness that it may lead to certain mental health conditions. It can infiltrate our brains and form these tissue cysts up there, and some scientists think that it may lead to um, psychological problems as diverse as you know rage disorders to uh, schizophrenia. These little parasites when they get into our bodies they have these unknown effects but may destabilize the mental makeup of people who already have um, a sort of genetic propensity towards schizophrenia. So it's not to say that they think it causes schizophrenia, but if you have in your genetic makeup some uh, risk factors for schizophrenia, toxoplasmosis could be one of the things that sort of tips you over uh, the edge into being a, an actual schizophrenic. People who have these cysts, whose immune systems are kind of constantly at battle with this parasite, uh, just don't feel well in a lot of ways, and they may get sort of um, inflammation in various areas areas of their brain and that might be what leads to these different kind of psychiatric problems that we see in people who have toxoplasmosis. And that's not to say that everybody with toxoplasmosis has psychiatric problems, it's just that it's like an increased um, likelihood of having these problems.